Welcome to the Indie Film Hustle podcast, episode number 36. Believe it or not, teaching is the most rewarding thing I do. It has been the most successful thing I have done in my life. Nina Foch. Broadcasting from the back alley in Hollywood, it's the Indie Film Hustle podcast, where we show you how to survive and thrive as an indie filmmaker in the jungles of the film biz. And here's your host, Alex Ferrari. Welcome, my Indie Film Hustlers, to another episode of the Indie Film Hustle podcast. I am your humble host, Alex Ferrari. Don't forget to head over to our online film school at IndieFilmHustle.com forward slash film school with uh, courses on every kind of discipline you can imagine, directing, producing, uh, screenwriting, visual effects, post-production, and so on. Now, guys, today uh, is a special episode. I wanted to highlight a lady uh, that uh, you may not have heard of. Her name is Nina Foch. Uh, I had never heard of her prior to taking her amazing course. And if you've been listening to the podcast in recent weeks, you've noticed that the uh, one of our sponsors has been the uh, the Nina Foch co- uh, course that that we have in our film school. And I I did that on purpose because I wanted to bring more attention to to the course because the course what Nina Foch did, and let me give you a brief. Uh, a brief rundown on who Nina is. Nina worked, uh, she's an Oscar nominated actress. She has worked with iconic directors like Cecil B. DeMille in Ten Commandments, as well as Stanley Kubrick in Spartacus. She was also an American, an American in Paris among thousands of other credits for television and film. The people who took her course, which is a course that she taught in uh, USC, Um, University of Southern California Cinema Arts Program. She taught a course called Directing the Actor. And I actually recently took this course online. And I got to tell you, it's changed my life. It changed the way I look at directing actors, uh, understanding the intention behind words and attentions behind screenplays. Uh, she teaches you how to break down a screenplay in a way that not only for actors, but for directors as well, because it, it, it she tells you how to find the intention of what the writer had in mind when he wrote it uh, or when he or she wrote it. It was fascinating. And to watch her just masterfully explain how to work with actors, how to get in the head of an actor, understand the language of acting is, it was amazing because for me as a director, it's, you know, working with actors, I know a lot of times can be frustrating because we, t- we speak two different languages. And over the years, I've learned how to work with actors better and better, but it's still something that I want to always improve upon and grow as a director. And Nina really, really allows me, almost gave me like the Rosetta Stone of actors to understand how she they they think, how they uh, understand things, how they are expressing themselves. And then also f- on the flip side of that coin, in the same course, she teaches actors how to understand directors. It's quite remarkable. So listen, I want you to hear this quick clip uh, from her class explaining how to win the fight on set as a director. Take a listen. You know that the young male in the show will, you know, the lead, is going to have a problem and pick a fight in the first week. Something's going to come up. It can be that their chair isn't there. It can be that their shirt has the wrong, the the right, the tie isn't right, or something about their haircut. It's, It's going to be dumb shit, dumb something, right? Recognize that that's the fight you have to win. You have to take over and quietly win that fight. Then you have no trouble ever again. See, because what that argument is about is fear. And the young woman can do it, too, in in today's world. Young women can do it as well. That's about fear. That's about the person testing whether the director, the actor testing whether the director is the boss, is the daddy or the mommy. And that's what that is. And you have to recognize that it's that fight. And what that's about is that you need to reassure them that there is somebody that cares about them that will protect them and watch them and give them good solutions. I have to tell you, I know that as an actor. It is so rare that you feel protected because most directors don't know anything about actors. They don't have a clue. They don't know how to help them. They don't know anything. 
uh, and I'm talking about working now, I'm because I'm still working a lot, you know, so I know what's out there. I know what's happening. You know, what happened in the last four months that I've been sick, but up until four months ago, for 60 years, this is the way it's been. <laughs> so there's a very little likelihood that it changed while I was having trouble breathing at UCLA. Um, okay, so be sure you win that fight and be sure you know it's that fight and be sure you don't get engage with it. Right? Be sure you're on top of it and know you're being the parent, the parent, the good parent. As you can tell, Nina, that little bit of it, just that little bit of nugget of information that you heard in that example of the course, that you know, it's something that's happened to me multiple times on on set, where an actor will come up and challenge you to see if you know you're you're who you are, if you're if you're going to be the boss or not, uh, and they're testing you. And it's not only actors sometimes, and sometimes it's producers, sometimes it's cinematographers, sometimes it's. Uh, sound guys. I mean, it, it, you'd be amazed. But that is, you have to understand that that is a, a thing that you have to to look out for. And Nina, ele- it was so eloquent in the way she said it and how to deal with specifically with actors. And it's not a bad thing. It's just you, the actor's just trying to find out if I'm safe or not. And that's something that most actors don't get. Like she said, that most most directors have no understanding of how to deal with actors. And that's why this course is so uh, relevant uh, today. So how the course escaped was basically, I call it escaped, that uh, this course was taught for about 30 years at U- USC. And her students are, I mean, a who's who of Hollywood from George Lucas to Ed Wick from who directed Blood Diamond and Last Samurai to Ron Howard, uh, Ron uh, Underwood, who directed uh, Tremors and City Slickers, Lee Ulrichs, who directed uh, Toy Story, Amy Heckerling, Fast Times in Richmond High and Clueless, Cameron Crowe, Stephen Somers, and the list goes on and on and on. And right before Nina was already starting to get older, she's passed now. She passed in 2008. And George Lucas wanted to put together a course or wanted to at least document this amazing class that only film students at USC got. And this is the one and only online film course from uh, USC Film School. And George Lucas and Randall Kessler produced it. They wanted to bring this amazing course to the masses. So with the cooperation of the USC Film School uh, and Nina, they recorded an entire semester over, I think it's over 400 hours of footage and they they brought it all the way down. They condensed everything to a four hour course with over 91 lectures or um, videos um, for, with the course. And I gotta tell you, it is, one of the best investments I have ever made in my directing career. Uh, I've It's changed the way I look at actors and in a lot of ways changed the way I look at castings. Uh, and I've been doing this for years, guys. And what she did was kind of like mind, mind altering almost this course. And, you know, I don't want to make this into a big plug. And, you know, if you know, if you go to our site and download it, uh, I just want to share this information and, you know, I'll highlight things. Indie Film Hustle, I want to highlight things that help filmmakers uh, survive and thrive in the film business. And this course is so monumental in the way it uh, handles a subject matter that is not taught out there. And it's there's no real good books on, on it out there that I know of. Nothing like what she does. And, you know, to, to have worked with Stanley Kubrick, Cecil B. DeMille, uh, Lee Strasberg, uh, you know, she's she's such a unique soul um, that I wanted to highlight this this course and highlight Nina herself. She is now, by the way, her course is taught in a very unique way. Her unique teaching style, which is what she's famous for, uh, it's right in your face. She doesn't care. She doesn't give a crap. She just tells you how it is. And sometimes it's not nice and not pretty, but she just tells you straight up to your face. And at the end of the day, you understand that she's trying to help you and trying to get you to understand what she's trying to teach you. Uh, Because someone with 60 years of experience, uh, you have to listen to. I mean, with, with that kind of credibility and, as they say, street cred, you'd be a fool not to listen to it. So uh, I definitely want you guys to get a hold of this course. It's uh, if you go to IndieFilmHustle.com forward slash USC. That's IndieFilmHustle.com forward slash USC. And that'll take you to um, our page where you can download uh, Nina's course. 
And I'm telling you, it is a course that will change the way you look at things as far as a director is concerned. And the black art of working with actors, in a lot of ways, uh, it really opened up my mind and my eyes uh, to what it's about and how you can actually understand actors and work better with actors. And actors, you understand what we go through as directors a little bit better. The casting process is broken down better. And also for writers, uh, just her, her story ideas, the way she she knows how to break down scripts and uh, get the essence of scenes and the intention. And that's the big thing, the intention of the work and the intention of the scene. So if a scene's about this and you read it and it looks like it's just about Oh, I'm just going to get a, you know, a glass of wine. It's not about the glass of wine. It's about a million other things and she explains that to you by how she breaks down scripts and how she's broken down scripts throughout her career and it's mind altering. It really really is, guys. So, definitely check it out indiefilmhustle.com forward slash usc Well worth every penny. Trust me. Now, if you want the show notes of this episode, please head over to indiefilmhustle.com forward slash 036. And I will have a coupon code um, for the course so you can get it at a discount. So definitely check it out. I wrote a beautiful article about her and all of her teachings. And there's some videos there that you can watch from uh, all these directors who are talking about her as well as some samples of the course. So definitely check it out, guys. Now, if you're a fan of the show, please don't forget to head over to uh, filmmakingpodcast.com and leave us an honest review for the show on iTunes. It really helps us out a lot and it really helps to get the word out on what we're doing at Indie Film Hustle. Keep that hustle going, keep that dream alive, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for listening to the Indie Film Hustle podcast at IndieFilmHustle.com. That's I-N-D-I-E-F-I-L-M-H-U-S-T-L-E.com.